All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. Here he is, folks, a true renaissance man, the future UFC Hall of Famer, Daniel Cormier. So, father of two, high school wrestling coach, two-division UFC champion, but it wasn't enough to just be in the game. Now you're commentating your own walkout, DC. It's How magic. It's magic, John. I am now add magician to my list of accomplishments as I walk to the octagon, at the same time calling the walk to the octagon. And I must say, of all the octagon walks, this has to be the best one that I've seen. Look how good looking. He tucks his shirt into his pants. He tucks his pants into his socks. What a fashion statement Daniel Cormier makes as he walks to the octagon. And people who really know you know how much humility there is underneath those 235 plus pounds. But what you have accomplished in mixed martial arts is not going to be duplicated by a lot of individuals. The boxing, catching up to the wrestling. Shout out to Rosendo Sanchez and Javier Mendez, Bob Cook, everybody else. You have really become one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, and you put that status on the line yet again here tonight. Thank you, John. You're so sweet. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them, from the speed of the level change to the timing, to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Bye. Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 248 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, USA. Introducing the challenger, Daniel D. And now, introducing the champion, lying out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC heavyweight champion of All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch gloves, and we are underway. You ready? All right, here we go, up for grabs tonight, the title of baddest man on the planet as we get set to crown a UFC heavyweight champion. Well, he's got the reach advantage, he might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Oh, there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. 
The most thrown punch is the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory if he couldn't get takedowns. That is certainly a good sign. Right away he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses because now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Back to the feet now. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target. It's like the dude sitting there with his red target on his nose, just getting beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Fighters back to their feet here. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back in range. Takedown the tips. All right, dominant position for him here. Now the guy's got arm bar. He's attacking it on him. Oh, and he's out. Posture here. So now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. Back to the overhand right. Not there. Oh, big hook. That'll be the mark. Left hand punch with the clinch. Cormier gets the tie clinch here. Take down man. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back. Changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single. To a high ground, he's got him right here. Back to the feet. Oh! Oh, that was a really nice takedown. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. of his reach advantage there with that punch. His misses are entertaining. Nice punch land over the top. Oh! He's done! He's done! Oh, what a fight so far! All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. So 
Second round here. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. It's been a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right to the jab, too. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Cormier's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, strong punch there by DC. And there comes the separation now. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight. Quick level change. Oh, he see. went single, rotated head outside. This oh, 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 my God. He switched the off to a high crotch, rotated, and they took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. as he works out of side control. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And now he's right, got so the now tie. He's on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Oh, misses with the jet. Swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find time. That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his new for a He flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that, or am no, I read my last run? Absolutely not. You don't survive that. It's over. It's over, now. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Side control now. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outside. Now potentially working on a submission instead. He's sort of hanging out here, unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Just out of range with the big right hand. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, huge block! Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, nice right hand. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the kick. He's hurt bad. Gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Ooh. He got him. Cormier's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen to that area now. What a round. All right, 
much. And there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round. And get that man a singlet, man, right? Offensive wrestling on point tonight. That was a tutorial. That was every single takedown you could secure in a fight. He did it all the right way. He's beating his opponent to the finish before he can try to sprawl and respond. He's a step behind. If he's going to stop these takedowns going forward, he needs to react nice a little quicker. Well, he certainly had his way with his opponent in that previous round, and with this guy, even when you know what's coming, sometimes it's still just hard to stop. But yes, because he's always changing up. The first time, it may be a high crotch injury. The second time, you may get single. Third time, it may be double. Ultimately, it always leads to him in the top position, trying to find space for his grounded pump. Big punch lands through the middle. Right where he wants to be, in the clinch. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Huge knee lands for the clinch. All right, pretty good series of knees by him there, so mixing up the striking really well in this fight tonight. Fantastic fighter. Takedown landed now by Corey. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. Overhand punch to the head, blocked though by DC. Big punch from the clinch. I don't know how many times you can hit the head oh. and stay in the strike. It won't take many of those. if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, one second of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. So how about this? We have a new UFC heavyweight champion of the world. I think that guy beats Daniel Cormier. I, think I mean, he does. this guy beats anybody. I'm telling you right now, he is the king of the world for a reason. The number one heavyweight in the world, a guy that possesses knockout power, confidence, and heart. It's going to be very difficult 